This is To Hatch a Pod. Sit back and relax as Key, Corey, Greg, and Ashley talk about what's happening in and around To Hatch a Pod. It's To Hatch a Pod time, Key Budge. Today, Jeanette Power joins me. Jeanette, welcome back to To Hatch a Pod. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I always enjoy being here. It's time to look forward to what's happening in April in and around To Hatch a Pod. So, thank you for contacting all your businesses, looking at the events, and let's share what to look forward to as spring is upon us. And it's a sunny day out. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, well, first, on uh, Saturday, April 1st, Marty Pay is having his retirement celebration. It, it is April Fool's Day. I kind of joked around with him about it, but he said, nope, nope, it's actually happening. Okay. Um, it's 2.30 to 4.30, and that's Farmers Insurance on 212 West F Street. Um, and I believe it's being catered by Red House Barbecue. So stop by and congratulate Marty on this big decision. And Ginger's going to take over the reins, and they're going to just have a great event that day. Well, that's well-deserved by Marty and I'm very happy for him. Yeah, absolutely. He's a huge part of this community. He does a lot. April 3rd is the deadline for the Saracosa workshop, sorry, internship. If you're interested and you're a Saracosa student, you can apply for an internship at the Chamber of Commerce. We have two projects. It's student-led and the hours are flexible. It's about the project and it's a really fantastic opportunity to get hands-on experience in business and marketing. Internships are huge and it's an opportunity and it's something you can put on your resume and it does give you practical experience. We were kind of talking about that earlier about theory and practical experience. You want both, but at some point you've got to get some practical experience and internship is a great way to open that door. Well, one of the internship projects is meeting with the small local business owners and it's a project we call shop small, shop local, shop often. And they're going to pick a few of their businesses that they want to work on, whether it's in food or hospitality or merchandise. And they're going to talk to that business owner and see what they need help with for marketing, come back, create a plan, go back to the business owner, then implement that plan. And each business has its it's unique obstacles, whether it's location or what they're selling or getting the information out. They're going to be working with the businesses and it really is hands-on experience. Great opportunity. Absolutely. Wednesday, April 12th, we have a lunch and learn. Christy Rabe from Platinum Realty Group will be teaching digging into Dropbox. You know, she actually taught me um, how to do digital storage and organization about seven years ago. And I could have just kissed her during COVID because uh, it really set me up for success, having a fundamental understanding of how the best practices of how to organize something. Yeah. I use Dropbox, very helpful tool. Mm -hmm. Dropbox and and Google drive. They're, they're pretty much, if you could set them up both the same, they're just used differently. And both are usable with other software services that you can have on your phone, like Canva, Facebook, DocuSign. And she teaches you the best practices to set up your digital organization you know, I've teased her many times about transactions I've worked with her in the years past, like seven years ago. Can you pull up the, the septic system inspection on this house? And she can find it in under three minutes uh, on her phone because she is just that organized. So she is really, I, I think, a guru when it comes to digital storage. So it doesn't matter what business you're in. She's going to help you figure out the best way for you to store your documents using digital storage. And that is, again, April 12th. If you want to make a reservation, just email me at chamber at tehatchby.com. Our Lunch and Learns rotate locations every month. This month, it's going to be at the Tehatchby Area Association of Realtors building, formerly, I think, Valley Oak School. It's on South Street, 20705 South Street. And I really think that if you're struggling with digital storage or you're realizing it's time for you to get into that because the cost of printing is getting difficult, please, you know, come in, just listen to the class, bring your lunch and learn the best practices as to how to set it up and really how you can use it to make your business smarter. And then April 21st, I'm so excited. We're having our Tehachapi's Finest Dinner where we recognize the citizens, small business, large business and nonprofit of the year. That's Dal Bunn from the PRCA Rodeo is our citizen of the year. Small business is Canine Creek. Kelly and her team do a tremendous amount of work for our our animals in the area. Large business is BHE Renewables. They are a big sponsor and supporter of every nonprofit in this community. The nonprofit is the Tehachapi Booster Club. And this is the first year we've had a nonprofit recognized. So we're really excited. We're sold out a month in advance. We do have a waiting list. If you're interested in being put on the waiting list, because there's always cancellations at the last minute, email me at chamber at tehatchby.com. But that's going to be a fun night. I'm so excited about it. And where's it going to be? It's going to be at Mountain Bowling. 
right. on the 21st, starting 6 to 7 social hour, then 7 to 8 dinner, and then 8 to 9 are the awards events. Okay, very good. And of course, Mountain Festival, 60th Mountain Festival. We are looking for artisans. We love to support our local businesses. If you're interested, please contact me at chamber at tachby.com or call me at 661-822-4180. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Of course, we love promoting our local artisans and small businesses. Very nice. And just a friendly reminder, we do not have a luncheon this month at the Chamber of Commerce because of the dinner event. It makes total sense. Perfect. Okay, good. And I've got a couple also I want to throw out. On April 1st and 15th, those are Saturdays, it's the Household Hazardous Drop-Off out of the Tatchby Landfill, and that's from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. On Friday, April 7th, first Friday, and that means TVAA, Gallery and Gifts, is going to feature an artist. You want to stop by, and that usually starts at 5 o'clock. And then at the same time, the American Legion has bingo going on on F Street. So you can kind of one-stop Friday night, get, get a chance to catch up with our local artists, play a little bingo, go to an eatery, maybe do a little wine tasting over at Stray Leaves. Fun things to do here in downtown. And then on Thursday, April 20th, it's Coffee with the Mayor, and you get a chance to ask questions. We go to Commons Cafe on Mill Street at 7.30 in the morning, and our elected officials are there, city staff is there, and we just are open to questions. If you want to know something, come and ask us. You can face-to-face. We don't play the social media version of telephone or rumor control. Come and ask, and we'll engage you with that conversation, make sure you understand. So we've been doing that for years that was something that we, under Mayor Ed Grimes uh, that we had started, and it's been very popular and successful, and uh, there's no pressure. And I think that's part of it is it's sometimes when you get in a council meeting or these official arenas, yeah. people kind of get intimidated. And this is like, hey, let's have a cup of coffee and chat. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. I've gone to several of them. And then we had Chris Morales in last week, and Chris was teasing this entire lineup through the rest of the year. It's amazing what TCTA has been able to do here the last couple of years as people are going more often and filling the seats. So with that, it in turn brings them a little bit more money and they're able to get the licensing for more plays. So coming up this month, we've got Clue and that's going to debut on April 14th. It goes on a two-week run and you can uh, get tickets at tctonstage.com. And I know that Chris is excited about this one. This one should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I saw the set for that recently. Uh, it's uh, Jason Wheeler it was building it at the time. It is the coolest set I think I've ever seen. Very cool. And it's, it just it makes it nice because the community participates. You said that you helped you know, with a little bit of uh, the painting and uh, artistry that went involved in this set. Yep. And it's just everyone is getting involved. And, and that's what Chris had said. More people are getting involved. They're, they're volunteering. They're coming in, whether it's behind the curtains and doing whatever it is, helping with sets, or if it's helping at the box office. And there are a lot of new people that are wanting to be on stage too. So it's it's very healthy for TCTA right now. Great community support. So they've got just a, a great lineup. Beyond Clue, the next run will be Golden Age. And I think they've got auditions coming up very soon. We've got the Playwrights Palooza that's coming up, the Adams Family, and then T-Town Talent in October. So Every month they're doing something where it was maybe five, six times a year. Now they've got 12 events, plus other community entities are using the BK Theater. So it's nice to see that beautiful asset on Green Street getting used on a regular basis. Right, and the diversity of plays and productions are amazing. You know, you've got comedies to suspense to something very serious. So I'm excited about it this year. Now, let me ask you, we had a a ribbon cutting, grand opening just here another, a few days ago. Joyful Life Hypnotherapy. Yeah. Yeah, and so they're here on Robinson across from City Hall, and she's ex- been here in the community for, is it just a few months that she's had uh, been here on Robinson? Yep, she just moved here a few months ago. Um, her daughter and granddaughter live here, so she moved up here to be with them. Great. And so how was the, the ribbon cutting and ceremony? It was fantastic. It was absolutely packed. I want to say probably 60 people showed up at least, you know, in stages. It was a wonderful support. And she was just absolutely thrilled and excited. It was it was a great event. I'd love to hear about these new businesses and how they're, they're growing and then the reception when they want to open the doors and, and show off what they're doing and people turn out for that. Yep. We've got several 
tentatively scheduled. We're just waiting for permits or for certain things to come in. It's a new building. They have to get it up to code. Um, But we're pretty excited about it. It's going to be a wonderful year. There'll be a lot to do. And I know you'll keep us up to date with all the businesses as they open their doors officially. And uh, we start expecting more people to come out. The weather is finally nice. Oh, my goodness. I know we've got another atmospheric river coming. But, I mean, we're enjoying the sunshine today. April's here, so we'll probably see less and less rain as we move forward. Well, we're getting excited about the farmer's market because that's pretty much how I cook on Thursdays. (laughs) Hey, there you go. So, yeah, let's mention that too. I know that Jessica Garner, our farmer's market manager, is still looking for some more vendors. She'd love to see more produce come in. Produce vendors, farmers have her top priority. She's still looking for some hot food and also some craft makers and entertainment. And you can go to our website, liveuptohatchaby.com, click on the farmer's market, There's vendor application forms there and also entertainment applications. We're looking for soloists and duets, that type of entertainment. And it's going to be, Farmer's Market will be every Thursday, June 1st through August 17th from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Green Street in downtown. And the turnout has been fantastic over the last several years. And Jessica said it's over 50% occupied as far as the booth space. So she's just looking to kind of fill it out a little bit deadline is I think mid-April. Yeah, it's a great time to meet your friends too and get grab a table, sit down and eat some of the fresh produce and, and just relax and great venue for music too. It is. It's it's very nice there in Centennial Plaza. So you Beautiful. kind of step off the street, relax. Like you said, you know, we've got some of the wine tasting and the beer tasting and then the hot food. So you can relax with the family. It's a nice family atmosphere. I agree. So uh, Jeanette, anything else that we have to uh, look forward to or if there's Maybe a business that or someone that's thinking about starting a business that they can reach out to you, that there's programs that the chamber sponsors, as we talked about. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, put out your contact information, how people can reach you at the chamber. The best way is to email me at chamber at tahatchby.com. Fridays, I, um, the office is technically closed, but that's actually the day I go around and talk to the businesses and meet the businesses and sit down and help them with problems that they might have or connect them to, to someone who can assist them. Um, so just give me a call or email me and we'll set up a date. I'd love to talk to you Perfect. to see how I can help you or set you up with someone who can help you. Very nice. And and I know that you do such a, a great job. You're involved with so many different entities, you know, representing the chamber. And then you, they, people have asked you to sit on different committees. So you really getting a, a chance to see everything kind of a, from an overall perspective and, and help facilitate the networking and, and bringing people together in a collaborative nature. Well, thank you. But it's a wonderful community and, and I'm proud to be a part of it. I do love living here. I'm going on 20 years and And I don't see myself looking to to leave (laughs) anytime soon. Yeah, my son and his girlfriend have a house down the street. And I love it. The only problem is they still come in for, you know, cream for their coffee at six in the morning. (laughs) But no, I love it. I love it. Well, well, Jeanette, thank you for gathering all all the information. We hit all everything that you got. Mm -hmm. It's going to start spinning up here probably in May with all the festivals and the weekend events. And yeah, absolutely. Folks, if you have a question for Jeanette, again, it's chamber at Tehachapi.com and you can send it to her. You can send it to us at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. You can send us your events. You can tell us uh, something that maybe you like about the show, something you'd like to see us talk about or hear us talk about. And uh, we can kind of take all those thoughts and suggestions and try and improve what we do and take it to that next level. But uh, we do appreciate the time you spend with us. Again, Jeanette, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. All right, folks, we'll catch you again soon right here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tehachapicityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.